The AMG factory in Afalterbach is really a campus of super clean offices and work areas where Mercedes cars are transformed into the bad boys of the Autobahn. Guiding me through a rare behind the scenes tour of AMG is Alexander Weber. So even though AMG is obviously, you know, performance versions of Mercedes products, it started out as a tuning company. That's correct. Although we don't consider ourselves as a tuning company, we work completely together with Mercedes. We're an integral part in product development and our cars are the sporty versions of Mercedes-Benz. We deal with retrofitted suspension systems. This is a uh, Autobahn nightmare. Wheels and tires, everything that a customer would like to add to his AMG after the car has been built already. I'm not sure these are gonna fit on there. <laughs> Just around the corner from the performance studio is the Motorin Manufacturer Building. Just like it sounds. Each AMG engine is built by hand, adhering to a philosophy of one man, one engine. Scanners keep track of every step, but the engine builder then puts his name on the engine when it's completed. So if I wanted to put my name on one of these engines and build it, what's the first step for me? The first step for you is, well, put on this uniform. I'll uh, be right back. Okay. Okay. Great. You're back. Yes, Great. that was easy. What's next? You're going to build an engine together with Torsten. You're very brave. Makes it look very easy. It's all about the power tools, I guess, yeah? Push and green. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. That took three years of training. So this kind of reminds me of open heart surgery. Did you ever see that Seinfeld where uh, he drops a, a junior mint into the guy's chest and then he keeps up? Um, you didn't see it? Yeah, okay, keep going. It's kind of a crazy mix, I've got to admit, between robot and human. On we go. You can't help but kind of respect the whole process. Okay, I see you've finished our engine here, yeah? Yes. When you get your 6.3 liter AMG, make sure you look under the hood and look for Tanner Faust signed on your hood because I'm signing this one. Thank, Thank you, you, Torsten. Thank you. Okay. So these are the names of all of the mechanics that put their names on the engine. They misspelled my name, though. They spell it F-A-U-S-T in Germany. I don't know why. It's F-O-U-S-T. Ah, oh, well. It's really cool to learn how performance is engineered here at the AMG factory in Germany. However, you're likely to see more of Mercedes' top performance cars on the road in Southern California than almost anywhere. My Supercars Exposed co-host is in Newport Beach, California, where AMG sells almost half of their cars. So Tanner thought he was the one who got the plum job on the Autobahn in Germany. You know, hoofing around in his eight-cylinder SL63. Little did he know that while the cat's away, the little mouse will play because I got my hands on this beautiful V12 SL65 AMG. Don't rush back, Tanner. We're fine here. We <laughs> Let the good times roll. Super cars, super yachts, super boats. All we need is a jet, and we're done. So inside, you'll find all the creature comforts and more. There's even a keyless entry system. There's an instrument cluster with a race timer in Newport Beach. But the great thing is about this car, it's a supercar with an air scarf. Yes, you can have hot air blowing onto your neck whilst you have the roof down. The mother's supercars exposed stats tell us that the SL65 AMG will cost about a hundred grand more than its lighter eight-cylinder sibling. This turbo-powered Torque Monster 12 is automatically speed-shifted through five speeds and has 80 more horses. The question is, does one really need 600 plus horsepower as a streetcar? And the answer is yes, of course! Mentally, just knowing you can dust off that weasel who's tailgating behind is reason enough. 